Hello, hello, hello. This is Rich Gale here on YouTube, Rich Gen X Elsewhere, and it is time to return to Space Quest 2. Now, I gotta remember, get the... Where's the... There we go. Alrighty. Now, when we left off, we had just entered this water-filled cavern. First things first. Alrighty. So we have to go through this cavern. There's no really way out here. Two caves that we could pick. All I gotta do is get to them. There we go. So, we gotta figure out which cave we have to go through. Hmm. Picking the wrong cave will result in a death. Oh, man. Okay, so we gotta figure out which one. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna save the game. I'm gonna save his water choice, so, because I don't know. Which one? And I probably misspelled choice. Do we go the left route? Or not? No, 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 no. I think I went the wrong way. Yeah, I went the wrong way. I think that was the wrong way. I think this is the right way. As you enter another of the mysterious subterranean chambers, you realize that the water is now racing towards a giant whirlpool in the middle of the area. You are caught in a strong current, powerless to alter your course. Now, maybe I did choose the wrong path. I don't know. And down and down the funnel we go. Did I pick the wrong choice? Suck down until finally you are able to resist no more and yield to the overwhelming force. Oh! That was the right path. Jeez, that was quite a trip. Peering around, you find yourself back in the open again. Oh, and there's the platform. Hmm. Okay, so let's see. We got a whistle. We got a puzzle. We got a key card, cage key, glowing gem. You give the whistle a toot. It makes an odd sound. You hear an incredible worry and grinding sound coming from the north. Suddenly, a Labion terror beast buzzes into the room like a tornado, and he looks like he could do as much damage as one. And he acts like the Tasmanian Devil from the Looney Tune cartoons. He chucked the cubic's rube puzzle over to the beast. The beast appears interested in your offering. Curiosity gets the better of him as he reaches down for it. 
He seems quite perplexed by the puzzling plastic polyhedron. You pick up a small rock generated during the Terror Beast's grand entrance. Okay. And here, we will save it again. To the platform, because... Save early, save often. There's a tall, impressive plat structure. The tall, impressive structure. A guard patrols the mid level. Well, yeah, of course he's gonna guard the mid level. He's gonna let me get past him. Oh. So we gotta do this just right. Okay. Sling rock at no oh, no 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 no. Use rock in supporter. Use supporter with rock. Say what? Okay, come sling rock. Ow! You send the rock flying into the bushes. You hear it land. Oh. Well, um, that didn't work well. Okay, sling rock at guard. You cleverly use the athletic supporter to sling the rock at the guard. It makes serious contact with the side of his head. We like to, the way you think. Flunk. He drops like a lead parakeet, the ripe thud of impact momentarily sickening. He is perfectly still. Do I have to search the body? I can't remember. Search body. You find nothing. Okay. There's nothing in the body. Use key card. Open door. Ah, use key card in slot. That's how we do it. me key card in slot try that use key card in key card slot unlock door mm. it's very now Use key card in slot. Place key card in slot. Put it hiding. I it's ten dollars. Can I know who the hinden? Place key card in slot. Use key card. Swipe key card, insert key card, there you go, you slide the key card into the slot then remove it, get in the elevator. As soon as the elevator door closes behind you, the platform on which you rest begins to rise.
we made it to the shuttle. You recall from when you landed the entry hatch being on the rear left of the shuttle. You have to move a little. Okay, get in show. You open that and get in. All right, turn on shuttle. Take off! Ugh. Look at panel. Everything looks automatic. The panel's low with cl Okay, push power button. Let's see. Okay. Turn dial? Vertical. Okay. Activate thrusters. Turn on thruster. Uh, look at panel. Push thruster button. The shell begins to vibrate as the ascent thrusters ignite. Fly shuttle. Uh, look at panel. Joystick uh, take off, okay. Pull lever. Ah, that was it. Oh, ascend thrusters ray, vertical control, forward, dis uh, forward, descend, back, ascend. Hey, there we go. All right, we're doing it. You're off the planet. Good work, Roger. A tone sounds. A soft synthesized voice notes that adequate altitude has been achieved. Synth thrusters are now ineffective. The monitor draws your attention again. Okay. Send. Okay. Turn dial. Horizontal controls. Screens are suddenly splashed with the incredible, horrible, horrible image of Sludge Valhul. Hello, Roger Wilco. I've been waiting for you. Once again, my subordinates have failed me. Anyway, it looks like you'll be visiting me again soon. Don't bother trying to pilot the vehicle. I've taken control. You will be arriving at my command post shortly. I anxiously await your arrival. He closes with a chilling laugh. <laughs> and his image is frozen on the screens. The ship changes course and if it had a life of it, as if it had a life of its own. All you can do is hang on. Yep. Alright. As Vulhol stated, nothing works. Damn. Bastard. He's a bastard. He's a bastard. You feel the ship bank. I didn't know it had an account. Uh, uh. As we'll all stay, nothing works. Yeah, 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 I know. 
Uh oh. Well, through your wind, through the window, you see your apparent destination, Vulhal's asteroid. Uh oh. Well, well, we made it through this part, I think. This is not good. The massive bay doors meet, jarring the entire vehicle bay. As you step down, the shuttle door slams behind, shut behind you. You are quite surprised not to find several of Vuhal's guards waiting to greet you. You begin to ponder what the twisted scientist might have in store for you. Alright. Well, this is a point where we have to be very careful. Uh. Okay. Okay. Look at Ella. Look at chamber. You're in a small capsule shaped enclosure. Above the door is a digital readout which reads level one. Only other feature is a rectangular panel. Look at panel. Panel has four has a vertical row of four buttons. There is something small engraved, some small engraving at the bottom edge of the panel. Read panel. Engraving reads Bobco Lift Division, the subsidiary of Bobco and Inc., universally famous maker of Nads hamster tape. If that's your trip, we've got the grip. Push button two. Push, uh, second button. Okay. Hmm. Has four buttons. Push, second. Button from bottom. Oh, God. Okay, push top. No, no. Huh. Bottom panel button. Uh, push up button. Push the second button. Push the second button from the bottom. <laughs> All right. Look at buttons. Ah. Each button looks ordinary. Each button has a word next to it. In order, they are one, three, four, and five. Okay, push three button. Push three. Oh, here we are. Level three. You have the funny feeling you're being watched. Yeah, I see that. Alright. So far, so good. There's some dangerous things on here. problem, I think. Yep, it's following me. Yeah, hi, 
that camera thing. Step in here. What is that droid? I'll wait until it pops back onto the screen. At least I've got a good lead on it. There's an automated floor waxer moving down the corridor. The name play, plaque reads the Dalado Buffmaster, another fine product from Helmet Masters Enterprises. And I think there's a door up ahead. So at least this is relatively safe. Right, there's a door. Oh boy. We are, uh... This is one of those, you gotta be ready to do something in advance. Gonna get waxed. Wax all plaques. Am I stepping in the elevator? It's my safe zone. Ba bum bum. Ba bum bum. Ba bum bum. Ba bum bum. I know it's a noisy thing, isn't it? Here it comes again. I hope that's not on all the floors. Aha! You know a janitor janitorial closet when you smell one. Almost at once, you sense an emptiness, a melancholy longing. You feel to begin off. You could begin to feel homesick. It's quite dark in here. You do find a plunger, however. Okay. Okay. Well, that was handy. We found a plunger. I like that. Okay. Nope. Oh. All right. Okay, so now we'll go up to level four. Hopefully we don't have another one of those damn things in the hall. Okay. Push button third. Okay. Level four. Okay. Hi, Sludgy. So far, so good. Never run across another one of those things yet. Just hope there isn't another one of those things floating about. Mmm. Oh, there's another one. Quite dark in here. On the floor, you know, it's a glass cutter. Get glass cutter! Okay. Alright, where 
gonna save it again. <sighs> boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'm just worried, because there could be something else here. Bathrooms! Wait, wait. <laughs> We're in a bathroom? Obviously in use. <laughs> Let's look at the bathroom. <laughs> you learn nothing new through this act. Oh, I don't know. I'm fine. I'm in the bathroom. Alrighty. Okay. Alrighty. So we found a bathroom. Slide your un your uniform pants down and settle on you. <laughs> you go through whatever motions might be normal for you during this act. Refreshed, you grab your pants and compose yourself. Look at stall. Inside the stall is a sight to behold. There is writings of various languages etched on the walls. <laughs> the floor has an interesting coating of some type of congealed dreck. It appears that the toilet may have been white once. The toilet paper dispenser hangs on the wall. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, okay. Open stall. <laughs> we have toity paper now. Okay. So let's see. So our exploration of floor four has shown us to find the toilet. Okay. I think that's safe. Although having both the men's and women's room. No. Okay, we got the. Uh, Waxy McWaxington coming our way. <laughs> well, at least it's got a we got a full good lead on it. All right. Okay, push button five. So what does level five have for us? Hopefully something. And after the after we scour level five or floor five, uh, we'll call it an episode. And I think we'll be finishing it up in the next episode. Oh, a closet door. Open door. Okay, nothing there. Uh-oh. Oh, 
open door. Push button. Look in closet. Small waste paper basket. On the floor next to it is a pair of crusty work overalls. Okay, get all. Get basket. Aren't you amazed by how much stuff you, an adventure game hero can carry? You've just got to know how to pack. Get overalls. You pick up the overalls. They are very small and quite worn out, not to mention filthy, and of no use to you. You toss them back on the floor. As you set them down, something falls to the floor. Get thing. Look. A lighter. Well, get the lighter, man! Get the lighter! Okay. Now we got stuff. Look at cage. As is common in all periods of cage design, vertical bars of a sturdy nature dominate the design. They look quite impenetrable. One of them has a cup, has some fur wrapped around a couple sections of the bar. Yeah, um, I'm not getting too close to that. Uh oh. Look. Oh no, one of the cells is opening. Who knows what unspeakable horror waits behind those steel bars. Okay, add creature. It's a dark prehistoric looking beast with plates covering it. Its body, one outstanding feature is a pair of gigantic red lips. Uh oh, yeah, that's uh... That's an alien. I've actually played this game long ago, and I know what happens when that thing gets a hold of you and starts to smooching. Like the alien in... Like the xenomorph in Aliens. Except that form, basically, push button one. Oh... Damn. Alrighty. And uh, at this point, we're going to have saved the game. And next time around, I think we're going to be finishing up our adventure in uh, Space Quest 2. Let's get ourselves over to the ship, at least. Alright, as always, this is Rich Kale here on YouTube, Rich Gen X elsewhere, inviting you to subscribe to the channel and check out some of the other playthroughs I've done. I have played through a few Sierra titles already, uh, Torrance Passage, Lighthouse the Dark Being, Gabriel Knight 1 and 2. Um, eventually, I will get back to Gabriel Knight 3, you know, once I get figure out what went wrong with that one. I really need to take some time to look into that. Uh, I am also working my way through other games. I am working my way through the Doom franchise. I am on Final Doom right now. And once I get done with that, it'll be Doom 64. And then we will skip Doom 3 and go straight to Doom 2016. Because I'm following the same protagonist. And the uh, protagonist in Doom 3 is much different than our uh, protagonist in the Doom franchise. Our Doom guy. All right, and uh, I'm also working my way through a bunch of point-and-click adventures, working on Lamplight City right now. I'm working my way through, uh, <clears throat> had a brain fart there. <laughs> I'm working my way through Tomb Raider, the last revelation right now, and after that I'll be doing Chronicles, and then that'll be it for the Tomb Raider franchise, because, uh, I've heard bad things about AOD, and I don't really feel like doing any of the other games past then. So who knows what will happen. I am working my way through the Sherlock Holmes franchise in a, quote, chronological order of the series. I am right now working on, uh, 
I'm going to be starting Sherlock Holmes in the case of the Silver Earring. I am also working my way through Alien vs. Predator. I finished the Marine campaign. And now the next one is going to be the Alien campaign. And uh, I have played that one a little bit before, so I'm just going to restart it. I am also working my way uh, through uh, the Henry Stickman collection. And uh, also, I am working my way through The Witness. A nice, calm, relaxing game. Until next time, then, have a good one, all. Goodbye.